Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Brennan Bias from GCheckIt.com and today I'm doing something slightly different from my usual tutorial. I'm doing a video review slash demonstration for an action pack. And this action pack is called Color Effects and it's made by a guy named Surin Justizen or Surin Justison or I don't really know. His name's Danish and frankly I don't know how to pronounce Danish names so I'm probably butchering it either way. And so you're probably wondering what the heck is an action pack? And frankly, an action pack is just a pack of actions for Photoshop. And if you don't know what an action is, um, well, I guess the best way to describe it would be a to-do list for Photoshop. So it's a list of things that Photoshop performs for you automatically. And in this case, it's just a bunch of stuff that applies photo effects and filters and all that kind of stuff to make your photos look nicer. And as you can see, this particular action pack has quite a few different actions in it. And they're all really useful in their own way. And they're all, you know, very nicely named and the way they work is actually really nice. So I'll just do a quick little uh, walkthrough of how each one of these uh, looks on this particular picture of me that I took earlier today with Eli. And so, yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So let's select the Loma one and push play. And let's just see how this looks. And so instantly you get this kind of Lomo effect. And I actually did a tutorial on this before and... I don't know, this is just way simpler than what I did. Personally, I think mine looks a little bit cooler, but this is, uh, just as a color effect, looks really, really nice and it's well done. And you'll notice that, um, you'll see that with every single action that you perform, it puts it into its own group, which is very nice. And everything that is applied is either a flattened image or an adjustment layer. So you can always go back and tweak everything that you apply here. And that's really nice. It's not uh, an, an action that makes it so that you can't go back and fix anything that doesn't look right. So let's just delete that and just continue through the list just to show you uh, how these all look. So let's go ahead and apply this organic one right here. And so organic, aptly named, everything is kind of green and like orangey kind of looking. So uh, personally, not my favorite effects uh, just by itself, but I can see that it would have some uses in different other pictures like landscapes and such like that. Uh, so let's go ahead and try out the vintage one right here. Uh, personally, I really like this uh, this vintage look. Um, it's got like a lot of blue in it, and I like blue. Blue is one of my favorite colors, so this is definitely an awesome one for me. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and go back, delete that. Let's try Dreamy. All right, so this looks a little warmer, maybe a little brighter in, in some cases. Um, and I don't know, it, it definitely does fit it. It does look a little dreamy in a way. And heck, look at me, I'm dreamy by myself. So adding in this dreamy color effects just make this picture all that much more dreamy. <laughs> all right, so enough cheesiness. Uh, let's go on to the next one. So let's try out Dawn real fast. And of course, uh, Dawn makes it look like the picture was taken more uh, in the morning rather than uh, in the middle of the day or anything like that. And it actually looks really well. It, um, that's definitely a picture that would look like it was taken in the morning. So let's try Dusk, something that makes it look like it's more later in the day. So um, yeah, this would definitely work for me, um, especially if it was uh, paired up with some other effects and all that. This would definitely be a very good dust effect, and I like it a lot. And so, of course, we've got a soft contrast. Who doesn't like contrasting? And personally, I really, really like this. It's definitely very good contrasting. It's definitely not overdone in any way whatsoever. And heck, it even gives it a slight movie look to it. I mean, can, couldn't you imagine this like in, a, in like a movie or something like that? That's just kind of uh, really nice looking, in my personal opinion. All right, so deleting that, moving on. Uh, of course, he adds in a vignette, which is really nice. Um... So it's just adding this very, very nice soft uh, vignette on it. But personally, uh, I like harsher vignettes. So I go back to this little vignette adjustment layer and I change the blend mode to color burn. And I personally like that a little bit better. Maybe tone down the opacity just a touch on that. Um, but that's just my taste. Uh, in other cases, that multiply uh, for that definitely works. And it's definitely a very nice and very convenient vignette. And it makes it so you don't have to go and draw one yourself. And it's something that I didn't really think of before. All right, so everything else on this list is basically a bunch of tints. So you've got yellow and orange and red, pink, blue, and green. And each one of them has a, its own different setting in terms of intensity. So just a little quick demonstration. So let's just do a yellow low tint. So just a, makes it a little bit yellow, so a little before, after. Just makes it a little yellow, not too much. 
And then of course, medium is slightly more intense than that, uh, definitely way more noticeable, but not too overwhelming. You can always uh, go back and change up the levels and such like that. But then the high end on that is definitely very, very noticeable. But this is cool if you're going for that kind of look and those kinds of uh, effects and such like that. And it's definitely uh, something that I would use, uh, you know, if the time comes up to make it uh, give that nice tint to it. I don't know. So that was just a quick run through through uh, all of those different actions that come with this action pack, which is only five dollars, by the way. So that's insanely, insanely cheap. And this is a great action pack. And, you know, if you don't have five bucks to spare, just go to Surin's blog page and just uh, leave him a comment saying something like, oh, I don't know, just tell him that you like his action pack and tell him that you would uh, like a copy or something along those lines. And if you comment on his blog within the next week of the date that this video is posted, you might win your own free copy. And you know what, but that's only just if you're too cheap to go buy your own, you know, you don't have five bucks to spare. What's with that? It's definitely way cheaper than some of the other action packs out there, which are like, I don't know, something like 20 bucks or something like that. I don't really know. I didn't look into it too much. And I don't know. You know what? Uh, just for kicks, let's go ahead and try some of these different. Um, let's just go ahead and try some of these on a different picture just to get like some different combinations of these and see if we can get something cool again. Uh, so, you know, what? let's just try a uh, soft contrast just to start this off. And so then now let's just go back. Uh, let's maybe add vintage on top of that. Oh, hold on. Let's turn that off first, then do the vintage. And so, you know, obviously I, I'm loving that already. <laughs> I love that vintage look. It looks awesome. And then maybe add a Lomo on top of that. Let's just see what we get here. And so let's just kind of turn all these on together. Whoa. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, that's that's something that I really, really enjoy about this action pack. You can go ahead and combine different effects together to make something truly unique and interesting. And heck, you can even make it more unique by opening up these groups and going back and changing these up. So, um, of course, changing up the vignette, making it that color burn, making that really interesting right there. And then uh, maybe amping down or turning down the saturation or something like that on this guy right here oop a little too much <laughs> okay so that's oh that's actually kind of cool right there i don't know so anyway that's kind of cool looking just as it is and all i did was add in what one two three of these different effects together i didn't even try adding a tint you know let's let's try that out how would that look let's do you know let's just try a pink just for fun let's do a high pink add that in Whoa, you know, let's change the blend mode on this. Let's change it to, let's change it to soft light. So before, after, whoa, craziness. <laughs> this is definitely more of a poppy kind of a look, but you know what? I like it. It looks really nice. And like I said, that was just something that I just threw in together just in like 10 seconds. All right. So let's go ahead and try this on a different picture. So this one is just Eli jumping into the air. And again, another one of those pictures that we just took earlier. And this is a little different because it's a uh, it's portrait instead of landscape. So things like the vignette. So I'll just demonstrate this real fast. So the vignette doesn't work quite as well on these um, these portrait pictures because it gets a little too intense on the edges. But you can always lower the opacity. Nothing too big. And besides, it looks like this one already has kind of a vignette on it going somehow. I don't know. So let's just see what we can get with this real fast. This time, let's go more of a dreamy look maybe so brighten that up with that dreamy look looking pretty good let's add let's add a low orange tint let's see what else uh, you know let's make it look like it's more uh, more dawn Ooh. and you hmm what else should we add to this you know let's let's see I did dreamy orange dawn I wonder what organic would look like. Let's try that out. Whoa, <laughs> craziness. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not the organic on this particular one, but maybe Lomo. But let's turn these guys off first before we do that. Uh, so play that. Let's kind of just toy through with this. Uh, make that vignette into my color burn and tone it down a lot. Just so it's just very slight. Now let's turn all these back on. Wow. So that's before the Lomo and after the Lomo. Definitely a very nice addition. So 
uh, this particular picture by itself before and after. Definitely a cool effect. I like it a lot. And uh, just to throw this out there real fast, um, the order that you actually put these in actually makes a difference. So um, if you were to like click and drag the dream group up top, obviously that's going to change it up a little bit. Maybe put the... Wait, do we have two dreamies on here? Or no, that's Dawn and Dreamy. My bad. <laughs> My bad. So yeah, the, the order of these definitely always changes it up. And you always have to keep in mind that some of these do a, a stamp of what's going on on the on the canvas. So this little, so you can see this layer right here is called blurry contrast, and you can tell that took the um, took the, the the stamp of what was going on at the moment and made it into its own layer. So if you have this going on and then you do something else of the sort on a different effects, it's going to end up combining those together. So you can either turn off the effects before you start adding in more or uh, just or keep it on and add another one of those in there just to kind of uh, intensify the effect. I don't know. Uh, but uh, all I'm trying to say is that the order that you do these in kind of matters and whether or not you have other effects turned on or off when you're adding in these effects and such like that, they all make a difference, all right? So again, going back to this one right here, quick before and after, it makes it really intense, but it's got some really cool coloring to it. And then this one, well, we didn't really do anything with it. But anyway, so that was just a quick little uh, demonstration uh, of this particular uh, color effects action pack. Again, it's by Surin Justison. If you want your own, leave him a comment on his blog page. I'll leave a link in the description. And remember, it's only for the first week that you might win your own pack, all right? And again, it's only five bucks, which is really nothing if you think about it. But I don't know, it's... It's whatever. People are always reluctant to go and buy things. So I would definitely give this thing five stars if there was a, like a five star rating system because I love this pack. I mean, it's just, ah, I love it. You can make all sorts of different effects with it. And I've already used some like, <laughs> I actually used them on my Facebook uh, profile picture just a little bit ago. And that's <laughs> kind of ironic. So anyway, again, I love this pack. You guys should get it if you have the money. It's only five bucks. And you know what? This was my first time doing a video review. So you guys should let me know what you think of uh, me doing video reviews and uh, things of that sort because this was actually kind of fun. I haven't done anything like this. Let's uh, get Eli in there. <laughs> All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video review. Let me know what you think of the action pack and let CERN know what you think of it as well. And also let me know what you think of me doing reviews and such like that because I think it was kind of fun. And as for Tutorial Tuesday, for those of you that uh, keep up to date with that, tomorrow there is not going to be a Tutorial Tuesday, okay? Instead, we're going to be doing a Battlefield 3 series where we do a little playthrough with me, Eli, and Trexton playing through Battlefield 3 and just kind of showing you what that uh, looks like, alright? And you know what, it should be fun, so don't hate on us for not doing a Tutorial Tuesday. We're really excited for the release of Battlefield 3, so keep in touch for that. And if you haven't liked us on Facebook yet or subscribed, you should definitely do that because we have a great community, especially on Facebook. We have lots of artists, and if you're an artist yourself, you're going to be welcome no matter what. So, like us on Facebook, subscribe if you haven't, leave us a comment, like us and all that crap, and we will see you guys in a little while.